Hello dear greetings of the day from Almighty CS. Today we are going to see how we can manage minimum stock for specific products in Odoo. There can be multiple options to manage minimum stock but today we will check to manage a stock with minmax rule or we can say reordering rules. To manage that option you need to configure some specific stuff on the product level itself. So when you are managing any product it needs to be a storable product second point is that you can manage a routes over here and make sure that you have configured a vendor if you want to manage a stock of the product by purchasing there can be two options either you are manufacturing that product or you are purchasing that product in this case we are purchasing same way uh, we can manufacture also just we will need to have a bill of material and related configuration instead of vendor configuration okay now over here let's say that we have sales product uh, sales price is 500 purchase price is 100 and vendor is a light vision now when we are managing this product we can configure min max rule over here uh, over here we have just configured that by by rule is the preferred route we, which we want to do and vendor is this and minimum quantity is 10 maximum quantity is 50. now once we are managing this over here you can see that 10 and 50 so if stock goes below 10 it will try to match minimum 50 quantity okay and if it is uh, between 10 to 50 it will not place any reordering of the product okay. let's say that this rule is configured properly and over here we do not have any uh, stock on hand so by default system should create one purchase order for the for this product for minimum 50 quantities okay so let's go to the purchase and see if we have any product order no we do not have any for a purchase order uh, normally what happens that in Udo by default it will be running a scheduler every day once but uh, as we want to check it right now we can run the scheduler manually so we are going to the scheduled actions in the scheduled action we can run the procurement one procurement group this one and run it manually now once we run it manually it will check all the reordering rules and the procurement stuff in the system so over here we can go to uh, menu of purchase again and check it out that over here you are able to see that uh, we have system created purchase order for the 50 quantity of this product share which we configured okay let's say that we confirm this product and we receive the products from the vendor and let's say that validate we are receiving 50 quantity on head okay so now when we go back to the products over here we can see that we have on hand quantity 50 now let's say that we are selling one product to the customer the customer purchase we are selling this product share let's say we want to sell 30 quantity now we confirm the task sell order over here we can see the delivery order we check and uh, apply it so 30 quantity is gone now we go back to the product again and check it out over here we have on hand quantity 20. now if we go to the schedule action again and run the scheduler and check the purchase order there will be no new purchase orders over here you can see that there is no new purchase order this is the older one which we created right but on the pro products there is on hand quantity is just 20 but it is matching or uh, falling in the minimum and maximum quantity now let's see we are creating another quotation or the sell order for the customer this time again we are selling let's say 40 quantity okay now in this case we are making uh, 40 quantity and confirm the order 
delivery order is there check availability but we do not have available quantity on hand if we go to the product and check the on hand quantity it is only 20 so 20 we have and 20 we will need so uh, now we will we need to procure a product to match this product at least 20 quantity another and for managing minimum stock we will need 50 quantity so uh, system should create another procurement of 70 quantity in the system let's say that uh, we check in the purchase order and over here you can see that another procurement is already generated over here from the system itself just now you can see it right it is auto generated and the quantity is 70 we ordered only uh, we needed only 20 quantity to fulfill the sell order which we created last but over here that quantity is 70 because we have a min max stock rule and minimum we want to manage 50 quantity so to match that 50 quantity we need to order a 70 quantity so this is the basic rule how we can manage a minimum stock in our warehouse and if stock goes below specific configured number it will automatically create a procurement or the quotation in your system based on your configuration and you can fulfill the need by confirming the purchase order or the manufacturing order whatever we have configured and system will able to manage a minimum stock and you can manage easily that the products are not going out of stock to manage your business property hope this video was helpful have a great day thank you